Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn about the chapter Acceptance Speech written by Ong San Suu Kyi. Let's concentrate on the pronunciation of this writer's name Ong San Suu Kyi. The first name is A U N G Ong pronounced as Ong S A N pronounced as San S U U as Su and K Y I as Chi Ong San Suu Kyi. Now who is Ong San Suu Kyi? She was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize and on her behalf her son Alexander Aris delivered this acceptance speech. We will be going through this chapter in four parts where I will begin with the introduction which will be followed by the chapter analysis where we'll go through the entire chapter paragraph by paragraph followed by some grammatical knowledge where i'll give you speech writing tips and we'll end the chapter with the conclusion starting with the introduction the name of the chapter is acceptance speech written by ang san suu kyi this was delivered on behalf of ang san suu kyi by her son alexander aris when she was awarded the nobel peace prize in oslo in december 1991 now why did her son delivered the speech because she was under house arrest in myanmar now let's discuss who is ong san suu kyi and why is she so important that she was awarded nobel peace prize which is quite a big deal now ong san suu kyi was born on 19th june 1945 in myanmar she is a pro democracy activist now why is she a pro democracy activist this is because myanmar mein democracy nahi tha earlier it it was under martial rule uh, where the military was the prominent decision maker in the country this led to a lot of uh, torture and uh, misdemeanor for the general public on san suu kyi formed her own party which was a pro democracy party for fighting for the rights of the people and the name of the party was national league for democracy now since she was against the rule of the country which was under martial law she was put under house arrest and was tortured and left alone basically she was going through a psychological torture wherein she was not allowed to talk to anybody or go out now during this period when she was under this uh, house arrest and going through this struggle fighting for her country she was recognized as a true messiah for peace where she followed the path of great leaders like martin luther king junior and our own mahatma gandhi so recognized for this great struggle she was awarded the nobel peace prize in december 1991 following her continuous fight finally she, her party the national league for democracy won the elections in myanmar with a sweeping victory and she was she is now the first state councillor of myanmar now why isn't she the president of the country because her husband and children are british citizen so she cannot constitutionally become the president so a post was created which is the first state councillor which is equivalent to our country's prime minister apart from the nobel peace prize she was also awarded the rafto and sakharov prize in 